Hello everyone, this is Playstick Bits, and I'm Mike, and today we're going to be opening up Dungeons & Dragons Castle Ravenloft board game by WizKids. It's a very special game to me because this is the game that got me into hobbying in the first place, and it was like the first modern board game introduced to me. So without further ado, let's break into it. And here's the box. So it looks like we got a little bit of glare here, but that's okay. Once the cellophane comes off, that'll be fine. Uh, box art looks pretty nice. Uh, let's see. You got the side too. Make sure you can see that. Pretty good. You got like Count Strahd. And I guess it just only features Count Strahd, nothing else. And obviously the back of the box. And there you go. Let's see if you can see that without, uh, without the glare. You'll hear some tip taps. That's my dogs walking around. They get uh, pretty bored when I do this. So you can see all the miniatures that you're going to see inside, I guess. Uh, there's the big dragon, that's like the final boss kind of thing. Actually, he's not the final boss, but he's a pretty powerful boss. Uh, oh, Wrath of a Shardalong, we'll be opening that next. I have that coming. That was also one of the board games I got. That's like the second board game I got. So that'll be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh, cellophane's ripped here, so that's going to be easy. Look at that, so easy. Sometimes during shipping, like, the cellophane will rip a little bit, and some people might look at that as a bad thing, but I think it's great. There, now you can actually see that clear without the cellophane on it. It's, it's actually pretty good art. I think this was made in like 2010, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. Fresh box, I'm gonna stand up for that one. Box is just basic cardboard. It's nothing special. I mean, it feels like it could rip pretty easy, but whatever. I won't be throwing it around too much. Top, we got the rule book. I'll have to reread this because last time I played, uh, if I recall correctly, it's pretty simple, but uh, look at that. That's pretty good art. Tiles and stuff like that. A little paperback book. Not bad. Rule book. Some kind of advertisement, don't care. Those are probably really old since it's 2010. And adventure book. So in here, it, just in case you don't want spoilers, I mean, I don't think you can spoil anything, but uh, these are where all the adventures are. So here we go. That's like adventure one. It's like a quick little prelude. Uh, I remember this. Opening all this is kind of nostalgic to me because of all the, uh, all the memories I had with this game. It's my first like board game, so it was great. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Here we got the cardboard. I'll probably do a little montage opening that pretty quick before we move on with this. I'll bust that open here. So you can see without the uh, light. Just using my kitchen lights, nothing special. Handy dandy steak knife. How many sheets we got? We got one. Ooh, these feel really flimsy actually. Two, three, and four. So we got four sheets here of uh, cardboard. We got little hull tokens, your dungeon tiles. I think the dungeon tiles are randomized and stuff, and it's pretty cool. Like white, if you get a white arrow, it's pretty good. If you get a black arrow, it means an encounter's coming when you're drawing them. But uh, I'll have to reread the rules and find that out. Pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, yeah, they feel kind of flimsy. Uh, I don't know. Punching them out might really wreck them. I'm going to have to do it pretty quickly. But uh, we'll see here. So obviously the cards. Here we got... Uh, I think these are the power cards here. You, oh, you can tear it right there. Beautiful. Love that. Pretty sure these were mass-produced. Like, I'm, I almost want to say they were made at Walmart at one point. So here's... Let's see if I can get a good shot here. I'll stand up for that. All these little powers. That's like Cleric. I got Dragonborn. He's a fighter, obviously. Ranger. These are just all the, basically the power cards for it. Wizard. 
Oh, I want to see. This is for me, sorry. I want to see if he has uh, the fireball. I think it's... I forget what it's called. I don't think he does. I think that's in the next game we're going to open. And then event cards. Stuff that happens to you. Really bad stuff that happens to you. And that's pretty much it. So there we go. Set that aside. And here's another thing of cards here. As you can see... Right there, my camera work isn't the best yet. Easy to open. <clears throat> so let's have a look here. More events, traps. I know the rogue in this is really good at uh, disabling these traps. And the uh, enemies. Enemy system is actually pretty cool. How they activate and how they can kind of swarm you if you don't take care of them. Items, all the magic items, blessings, fortune, all those good cards. If you're getting it, you're going to want to take a closer look at it. I'm not going to go through it today and waste your time. <coughs> all right. So now we get into the miniatures. So here's the big guy. Let's get to the big guy. The dice, too. I'll stick it in one. So let's uh, puncture that, the old steak knife. And if you're running like D&D campaigns, like these board games, there's a bunch of these board games, they're really good to buy just for the miniatures because like the cost to miniature ratio is, is uh, significantly better than buying individual miniatures. So here is, let's focus on that there. Let's focus on him. Not focusing too well, is he? Oh, okay, that's all right. He's the big bone drake, or the bone dragon. Scary looking dude. Very cool. Uh, the details are okay on it, you can probably see. It's not the best plastic. It's not like hate quality, but it's good. Oh, right there, look at that. See if you can see that. Gravestorm Dracolich. So that's kind of cool. They put the names on the bottoms. I like that. And finally, we got all the other miniatures. Oh, look at how they come on. They're bagged, and then they're individually bagged in it, too. So let's see. Oh, here's a die. I forgot to grab that die, too. Just your basic 20-sided black die. Pretty decent. Yeah, it works. The die works. That's not broken. Looks like we got ghosts and fire things here. Let's check it out. Just gonna top them out here, and then we'll have a look. So there's two different kinds here. Looks like. Uh, let's see if we can get a focus on that. So it's really hard to see, but he's actually a flaming skeleton. You probably see his ribs right there. So that's pretty cool. Like these are really cool miniatures to use just for like a D&D campaign or if you're trying to replace like miniatures in a different board game. Like these are pretty cool. Here's a uh, wraith. And this is uh, part of the, uh, this is one of the two in the bag. There we go. Hands up, casting a spell. Looks like we got uh, some stuff in the back there, like a cloak or something. Pretty cool. Pretty cool ghost mini. <clears throat> and how many do we got here? We got, there's three. Three of those, uh, let's refocus, yep. Three of those ghosts or wraiths. Actually, let's read the bottom. Let's see if we can read the bottom. Yep, look at that. Looks like every single miniature has that, too. I don't know if you can see it. It says, uh, Wraith. And let's see this guy. We got three of these guys as well, as you can see here. Three of these flaming skulls. So let's check that out. Come on, focus. Right there. Pretty cool. Yep, Blazing Skeleton. That's what they're called. So we're going to throw those right in there. 
Now this looks like undead or something, a bag of undead or... Uh, oh, that's weird. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. There's like... Uh, the skeletons are individually wrapped. Here. Individually wrapped in like plastic. That's weird. So they have this bag in a bag of plastic and then that little skeleton in his little casing inside this bag that's inside a bag of plastic. Talk about garbage. Oh, let's dump these guys out here. Let's move this up here a little bit. I'll just dump that in here. Yeah, look at them. They're, they have their own little casing. Let's look at those first. See? They got uh, plastic around it. So these guys are called... Take a guess. Take a wild guess. Skeleton. Pretty cool. Um, I use these in uh, Gloomhaven. If you ever have Gloomhaven, like... Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but there is something that raises undead for you. And these are really cool. These are really good to use. And that's what I use. And how many of these guys are there? I'm going to expect more than usual. Nope, just the just the three. Just the three uh, skeletals. Whatever. Skeletons. Take them out of their plastic casing. That's actually kind of cool, but very wasteful. There you go. Three skeletons. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, ghouls. Looks like there's some ghouls here. I'm going to assume they're ghouls. Oh, no, I was wrong. Sorry. Oh, check it out here. Focus in on that. See that? Zombies. They're zombies. What's he wearing there? Well, he does have a shirt on, but he's wearing a little skirt at least. Covering the bad stuff. And we got three of those boys. Looks like there's a common three of everything in here, eh? Alright, so let's move on to the last three of everything. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to take a wild guess that these are gargoyles. Alright, let's look. I'll read it on the camera. Gargoyle, yep. I was right. Look at that. Right about two of them so far. <laughs> Skeleton and gargoyle. So let me just do a little close-up of him. You can see him there. He's got some uh, muscles, believe it or not. Being stone. Cool texture on the wings. That's actually pretty nice. For a mass-produced game, that's decent. And of course you got three of those guys here. Now these two. So this looks like a mini uh, Dracolich, if you'd call it, right here. Let's try to get a focus on him. There you go. This one actually has a lot more flesh than the other one, so it's obviously a younger version, probably a weaker version, I'm going to assume. Let's see the name of it. Is it a Dracolich? Nope, they threw a hardball at me again. It's a zombie dragon. See, I'd call him a zombie dragon too, the big guy, but uh, let's compare the two. Let's compare the two here. Yeah, see him? He's uh, he's more bony than this fleshy guy. He's got a lot more flesh on him, kind of rotting off. Pretty cool though, like I'm actually impressed by like uh, the quality of mass-produced games. When I first got it, I thought it was like the best miniature ever because it was new to me, right? <laughs> and the final guy. Okay, I think I remember his name. I think he's a flesh golem. I want to say he's a flesh golem. Look at him, he's ready to punch you. You mess with him, you're getting a punch. Uh, he's got pants on. A little rope around his waist, I think. Yep. Oh, look at the stitching too. That's kind of cool. Let me see if I can get a focus on that. He's got like stitching around his arm and stuff. That's neat. Alright. Oh, I was right. Look at that. Flesh golem. I like how they name the miniatures on the bottom. I wish a lot of games would do that. Like, that just makes it a lot easier. And, and actually, I didn't even notice before, you can see the set symbol on there. Typical Wizards. Wizards of the Coast, they put the set symbol on there too. So that's cool. So you can actually take these over to a different game 
And if you're trying to organize them back into their games, you just look at the set symbol. That's nice. <laughs> All right, uh, let's look at, we got three more bags of stuff here. So let's have a look at that. We'll save the heroes for last and the bosses. Let's get into the basic monsters. Yeah, see this? Here's some uh, basic monsters. There's a rat swarms. Uh, any of you familiar with Gloomhaven, the Mind Thief class? These are awesome to have for one of his spells because he summons a rat swarm. And it's literally, I think it's actually even called Rat Swarm. And, and the ability on Mind Thief is also called Rat Swarm. Yep, that's Rat Swarm. So, sorry to show it early. I just, I got excited about that because I don't know, I kind of wanted them. Maybe 10% of the reason I bought them is so I could have these Rat Swarms. Because right now I'm playing Mind Thief, Mind Thief in Gloomhaven. So, yeah, three Rat Swarms. We already looked at those. Pretty cool. They're called Rat Swarms too, so. There you go. Next, let's look at... Uh, I'm familiar with D&D. These looks like, look like kobolds. I'm going to assume they're kobolds. What do you think? Let's see here. A little kobold with a pokey stick. Pretty cool. Is that a sword on his back? Yep. Yeah. little sword on his back and... He is named Kobold. Kobold Skirmisher. Yeah. And again, three of those. Pretty cool. Let's go on to the next one. Here's some spiders. I'm going to assume Giant Spider is the name. Let's have a look at that. Nice little texture there. You'll notice with a lot of them, they have the big gap in them. But that's a lot of board games. And if you're a painter, you'll know that green stuff really helps with that. Filling in those giant gaps. So, uh, oh, I was wrong. It's not giant spider. It's uh, spider. Oops. Spider. I guess regular spiders are like that in the D&D world. Three of those. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, I... I'm pretty sure these are called ghouls. These are the ones I was thinking about here. So you can kind of see. Let's bring one up close. Ghoul. I'm pretty sure it's a ghoul. I always thought he was eating his own arm. But uh, I guess I didn't look at the miniature too closely. He's eating a different arm. There you go, ghoul. Yep, I knew it. Cool. And there's three of those guys there, too. And last but not least for the monsters, wolves. So I'll just show you this wolf quick. Nothing too special, just a basic wolf. Almost in every RPG, you're going to see one of these guys. And, uh, yep, my assumption was correct. It's a wolf. And again, three of those guys. Next we're going to move on to the heroes. These are these uh, blue guys here. Heroes. It looks like it's being I'm being dangerous but I'm actually poking between my fingers and then lifting out. It's 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 safe believe me okay. <laughs> A lot of garbage. Throw that on the floor. And you got your five heroes. So let's start with this guy here. He looks like the uh, wizard. Yeah, definitely the wizard, because the wizard casted, uh, he cast fire spells, and it looks like there's a ball of fire in his hand there. Like, eh, not much detail in the face, but still, it's cool. Eh, that's a terrible seam right there, I don't like that. That's pretty bad, but what, what can you ask for, right? Um, Emerald. Eldarian Wizard. So you can kind of see there. It has the set there too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And that's him. Next, I think that is the Rogue. I'm pretty sure it's the Rogue. Let's see here. It's got the little throwing dagger and the rapier. Quite sure it's the Rogue. 
Let's see here. Cat. Human rogue. There you go. Next we got, that obviously looks like the fighter. I'm going to safely assume that's the fighter. He looks like a uh, dragonborn or dragonkin. I forget the name of them in D&D. We'll find out here in a sec. His axe is quite wonky though, eh? A little bit of hot water will fix that. But uh, pretty cool overall. His name is Arjhan. Arjhan, dragonborn fighter. He is dragonborn too. That's pretty cool. Before Skyrim, by the way. Here we go. This looks like a dwarf cleric right off the beginning. So I can focus that in. Dwarf cleric. Pretty cool. He's got his little staff there. His arm that looks like it's ready to cast a healing spell. Not much texture in the cape, though, eh? Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And his name is Thorgrim. Thorgrim Dwarf Cleric. And last but not least, I'm going to assume this is the Ranger here. And I'm going to say Elf Ranger. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, a bit of a curve of the sword, but that might be intended. Looks like her other sword's curved too. Rangers usually have that curve. I don't think they're supposed to have that little tip though. <laughs> I think that kind of takes away from the danger. Uh, a way better cloak than the Dwarf. I mean, the, the cloak's pretty cool. Let's see, uh, Alyssa. And I was wrong about the elf. Is There we go. Alyssa the Human Ranger. So, pretty cool. That's all the heroes. Now we can get on to the final one, which is the bosses. Now these guys pop up regularly through the... Uh, campaign. <laughs> you know what's funny? I see this guy here and his staff looks completely bent, right? But I almost think it's intentional. Here, let me get a better focus here. I almost think it's intentional because when I had this game before, that was a... Uh, it was just like that. It was Ben. Uh, I don't know who this is. This is a howling hag. I thought it looked like a hag, but I wasn't too sure. So again, here we go. Howling hag. Pretty cool villain. And they pop up as different villains too. Like one will be just howling hag, and then throughout the adventure, it'll be, uh, you know, uh, it'll be a named character. So here is a. I'm going to assume. A kobold. Looks like a kobold mage or wizard or something. Pretty cool mini. He's got a staff there. Yeah, he's got a little tiny staff. A little knotted staff. Uh, let's see his name. Clack. Clack the kobold sorcerer. Pretty cool. Next we got what looks like a very excited werewolf who's dashing through. He's uh, very postured here. I never liked that. I liked conformity kind of like everything really matching and but you know what it's cool. It adds it adds a little bit of body to him. Um, the casting is terrible obviously. It looks like he has like a blade through his mouth but uh, I'll probably clean some of that flack off before I paint these guys up. Pretty cool, and he is no name, just uh, werewolf. Werewolf. And last but not least, I'm going to assume this is either just a basic vampire or Count Strahd himself. Now they obviously put a lot more detail into him. Look at that! Look at the big old uh, sheath for his sword. Look at this giant sword. It's like a bastard sword or something. Little daggers in the front. Pretty cool. It's uh, pretty nice looking. And he is... Count Strahd, vampire. 
So I think you use him as our, just a basic vampire, and then you move into, like, when you actually fight him, he's Count Strahd. Yeah. And let's just look at this box. Oh, there's something underneath, too. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. You just, like, take that plastic off, and there's, like, cardboard underneath. Well, I wish I would have known that. I would have shown you guys the cardboard first before I got into the minis, but uh, let's just tip that out. That's a cheap cardboard. That That's going to break. Um, yeah, oh, okay, there we go. We got, like, the bosses, the boss cards here. I was wondering. I was like, uh, I don't think there's any character cards or anything yet. Uh, some monster tokens, stuff like that. Uh, I'll crack them open. Let's see how many, um, how many are there. I don't want to hit the cardboard too much. Pretty peculiar about that. Let's see here. Lots more garbage. This game has a lot of garbage in it. So we'll just see here. These are all supposed to be the same color, obviously, because you stack them up and randomly pick them out. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Little effects here. Food, a mirror. I'm assuming those are like quest items there. Um. Oh, that's a little coffin. That's cool. It looks like you, yeah, look at that. It's a coffin, then you just kind of flip it over and whew, decides if there's a monster or not in there. Cool. I don't remember a lot of the uh, missions. I remember a couple, though. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there is a lot of tiles here. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's nine total sheets. So here's like a lot of the villains and the heroes and stuff like that. So these are pretty colorful. I mean, I, I know in the other games too, like all fighters have red, all clerics have yellow. And uh, I'll just show you one really quick. Here's here's a uh, cat, human rogue, pretty cool. And then like I think that's level one. Yeah, that's first level. You can see in the corner. And then like when you level up, you flip it over. And you always start at level one at the beginning of every scenario, but you can level up halfway through a scenario, and it just gives you better stats and more abilities, obviously. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Here are the monsters in the Wizard 2. Maybe that's foreshadowing. Maybe he's going to be a monster. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Um, there's a Flesh Golem. And what's on the back of that Flesh Golem? Okay, they just reused them. That's okay, that's smart. That saves money. Let's uh, clack on the other side. And there you go. You got your... Oh, uh, well, there's the Young Dragon there, the Zombie Dragon. And what's this one right here? So there's Count Strahd. There's uh, there's him. Pretty cool. Pretty big. Uh, some of the writing. Pretty big card showing he's a big deal. And the Draculich on the other side. Awesome. That was cool. All right. So that is. Castle Ravenloft, 2010 board game by Wizards of the Coast. Take these out. I'll dump the minis right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Some big guys going on here. I hope to get a few games in this week. I'm hoping to really learn it, and uh, I actually want to beat the campaign. My wife loves these kind of games, dungeon crawler games, so it'll be an adventure. Um, yeah, now I'll just go through a montage of everything that I've seen, and I hope you enjoyed watching the raw video. Thanks.